Well, hello there. Hi and welcome, folks. My name is RPJ, and this is the RPJ Show. How are you? How you doing? What's up? What's going on with you, me? I am so swell. Swollen, in fact. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about sex and porn. Uh, I myself have been uh, accused of being sexy. I've been called sexy. And I will tell you that I am sorry for that. I apologize for being so sexy. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, um, I was just watching a documentary. In fact, I'm still watching a documentary on porn and sex and intimacy. And I, from what I can gather, a lot of people are just a very sexualized uh, society today. Um, young people are going to porn, watching porn, and are emulating the movements of today's porn. Um, anal blasting and uh, orgies and uh, just using a woman's body uh, for whatever pleasure. And let me tell you, that that's would be fine and dandy if your partner is willing to be a basically an object for you, for that dude. But let me tell you, in a relationship, uh, what a woman is looking for is she's looking for intimacy. She's looking to share that time and space with feelings, with caring, with uh, some uh, some thrusting, but. Uh, connection uh, she just she's not there to be used she's there to be loved and yes you there are times where you want to you know wrap things up but the overall experience should be about sharing your love not just demonstrating your abilities to perform like the porn performers you know I can do all the movements myself and I do it but I do it with, with me sharing part of myself when I'm making love. Now, now that's okay. Now, if you your thing is about just pounding away, make sure that your partner, the person that you're pounding away with, is on the same wavelength. All right, because then that way you understand the name of the game. It's just sex. But you know, I like to make love, um, and yeah, there are some. You know, there are some things that I will do to rub things up during certain moments of lovemaking. Um, but I'm not into uh, anal fistings and uh, shoving bats or, you know, fucking ear holes with all my might or, you know, fucking an eye socket. No, I'm not into all that crazy shit. Um, and I can do all that, but no, I want to share. And I'm telling you guys out there that you don't have to perform like porn stars. To have a good sexual relationship with your woman, uh, with your mate, uh, you should just be sharing, of, you know, be giving, offer pleasure to her. She offers pleasures to you. Sharing pleasure, sharing is touching on skin. All right, you don't have to perform like porn stars unless uh, that person is looking for a porn star. Then you put, then you give them what you want if that's what you want to do. And then I'm telling you guys, guys, you don't have even if a woman is looking like, oh, you, you know, you fuck like I don't want you, I don't want you to make love to me. I want you to fuck the hell out of me. Uh, well, then you probably say, okay, fine, I'll fuck the hell out of you. But uh, you're probably not going to be the kind of person that I want to have an intimate, full on relationship with. Because today's woman is also watching porn, and they think that. They've got it screwed up in their head that being pounded away and having things struggling in every orifice, every orifice uh, is tantamount to lovemaking. It's akin to lovemaking, and it's not. It's two totally two different things. So you got to find the right, the right woman on the on the same wavelength as you in order to have uh, even a good sexual relationship, especially a good relationship. So be mindful of that. Women are watching porn and they are expecting certain things from certain, from, they are expecting certain things because now they believe also that being pounded away on anal poundings and uh, armpit poundings is, you know, love. And so, make sure that you're on the same wavelength, but whatever you're doing, if you want to just have sex and be porn stars, find that right woman for you. 
or if you're a woman, find the right man for you. If you're looking for an intimate relationship with some pounding, then you got to find the right woman for you, or a right for her, or a woman find the right man for her. All right. So, to, uh, and I say this, I don't put the documentary in the, in the description box. I say this to you because maybe as a way that you can relate to me as a regular guy. I'm a regular guy with extraordinary powers and abilities and sexiness. No, I'm kidding. But I'm an ordinary guy and I, I totally get both ends of the spectrum of being a porn star and of being a great lover and having intimate relationships. Alright, so this ticket from your buddy, your favorite guy, King RPJ, that uh, makes sure that you're in a safe wavelength with your partner on uh, what it is that they expect and, uh, and see if that's the same thing that you want. My name is RPJ, and this has been The RPJ Show. Thank you, folks.